Hello students. Well, so far we've given you, uh, we've studied the first six index laws. And down the track, you'll learn some additional index laws using uh, indices uh, such as negative numbers, like negative 2, and fractional indices, like what does it mean to raise something to the 1 half power. But for the last video in this particular series, what we're going to do is look at some uh, problem-solving questions. So these are ones where it's not just a straightforward um, apply the rule. You've actually got to do some thinking and show understanding to tackle these questions. So some of them are quite challenging, but the secret to this is persist. Don't just give up if something gets a bit hard, but keep trying. And one good thing to do when you're problem solving is have a go, put a lot of effort into it. If you don't get the answer, leave it and come back to it later. Sometimes it's easy, easier if you give yourself a little bit of time to sort of work on it unconsciously. So let's have a go. I'll do the first one on each of these pages as an example, and then I want you to try the remaining ones on your own. Okay, so the first one is saying 5 to the power of 3 times 5 to the power of x is 5 to the power of 9. So we have to use index law 1 here, that to multiply powers with the same base, we add indices. So that means that 3 plus x, those two indices, must add to 9. And hopefully you can work that out in your head and therefore say in this case, x equals 6. So it's sort of working backwards from what we've done before with index law number 1. Okay, stop the video and see how you go on the remaining three questions. Good luck. Okay, welcome back students. Okay, this one here, we got 10 to the 12th divided by 10 to the 5th equals 10 to the x. Well, this is index law number two. To divide powers with the same base, we subtract indices. So in this case, we can say 12 minus 5 equals x. So we can write an equation involving just the indices. And of course, therefore, x equals 7. Okay, let's try the next two. Okay, 5 to the 6th, all to the power of 3 is 5 to the x. Well, index law number 3 says to raise a power to a power, you multiply powers. So the first thing we do is we go 6 times 3 is 18, equals 5 to the x. And because the bases are the same, the indices must be equal and therefore x equals 18. Okay, and the last one. Now, if this fraction equals 1, it must be true that the numerator and the denominator are the same. Because, for example, 5 over 5 equals 1, um, 420 over 420 equals 1. So whenever a fraction equals 1, the numerator, which in this case is 3 to the 4th all to the x, is the same as 3 to the 12th. So that means we can say 4, in fact, I'll do this in two steps. We can say 3 to the 4th all to the power of x. Well, the index law says that's 3 to the power of 4x. To raise a power to a power, multiply powers. Therefore, 3 to the 4x must be the same as 3 to the 12th, because these two expressions have to be equal. That means 4x equals 12, and that means x equals 3. So that's how we will tackle that particular question. OK, let's move on to the next page. And what I'd like you to do here, I'll do the first question and then I'd like you to try the next three. So use a combination of two or more of the rules to simplify the following. Leave your answers in index form. So we need to simplify this. So basically we have to use two rules. First we use the rule for um, power of a product. And then we have to use the rule for raising an index to an index. So to start this one, I would say I can write that as 2 cubed 
all to the power of 5 times 3 to the fourth all to the power of 5 and 2 to the third to the power of 5 to raise a power to a power multiply powers to raise a power to a power multiply powers and we leave the answer in index form okay we'd like you to have a go at the next three please and once you're finished restart the video and see how you went okay let's have a go at this one please so Notice that the powers are the same. So I'm going to use index law. I think it's number four, but I'm going to use it in reverse. So I can write six squared over seven squared as six sevenths all squared. Normally we go from that form to that form, but we can reverse it and go the other way. And then all of that, all of that, I'll have to put brackets around, square brackets around it. All of that is raised to the power of three. And now we have, we're raising a power to a power. So that's going to become 6 over 7, all to the power of 2 times 3, which is 6. OK, let's move on to the last two questions. OK, with this one, the first thing we're going to do is rewrite this without the brackets, and the same with that. So that becomes 4 cubed to the 4th times 5 to the 4th over 5 squared to the 5th times 4 to the 5th. OK, the next step we have to do is to raise a power to a power. So that's going to become, we should put some equal signs in there equals 4 to the 12th times 5 to the 4th over 5 to the 10th times 4 to the 5th. And the final step, because we have multipliers in here, we can just simplify by taking out, we can solve 4 to the 12th over 4 to the 5th. Well, that's 4 to the 12 minus 5, which is 4 to the 7th. And in this case, we've got five fours on top. So I'm going to have to undo what I just did. We've got five fours on top. Sorry, four fives on top, ten fives on the bottom. That's going to leave me with six fives on the bottom. So four of those cancel out four of those. And that leaves me with five to the sixth. OK, and the last one. Well, first, I'm going to expand the brackets or write this without brackets. That gives me 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 4. And I'm going to write this one without brackets times 1 to the power of 2 over 3 to the power of 2. Now, what I can do is turn each of these into a fraction. And that gives me 2 to the 4th times 3 to the 4th. Again, to multiply fractions, you multiply the numerators. 1 squared is just 1, so I can just leave that out. And in my denominator, 1 times 1 times 3 squared is 3 squared. And simplifying that, I have 2 to the 4th. And 3 to the 4th divide 3 squared, where well, the rule for that is to divide powers with the same base subtract indices. That's 3 to the 4 subtract 2. And that's the final answer. OK, well, that's the end of the series of videos on index laws. Um, in year 9, you'll continue with this topic. And instead of using numbers, we'll use variables. And we'll also extend the index laws to include other numbers other than natural numbers and zero. Okay, I hope you learned something from this series of videos, um, and goodbye.